So Paul. Oh, you are so oh, naughty. That is so naughty. Oh, you little pickle. It's guess he just spilled an entire glass of elderflower juice over. Guilty as charged. Yeah, it was you. Oh Paul. Give me a kiss. Good boy. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well so as you know by the title of this video I'm going to be doing a bit of a collective autumnal haul today I've been prepping my autumn wardrobe with brands such as and other stories Zara, Mango, also got some Marquette in there and finally Monica Vinader who I'm working with on this video before we get into things make sure you go follow all of my socials and subscribe I'm currently doing 30 days of outfits over on my TikTok it has been a bit of a challenge filming every single day but i'm actually really enjoying it so hopefully you guys will as well by the way it is such a miserable gloomy day outside so make sure you grab yourself a cup of tea it's feeling quite cozy in here i've still got my zara candle that has been going i don't know like a year and a half now and i'm gutted because they actually discontinued them and it's my favorite smell ever um anyway i'm getting sidetracked let's get into the video let's start with the monica vinader unboxing i'm not gonna lie i've already unboxed a couple of pieces because i was so excited to put them on so first up i think probably one of my favorite things that i was most excited about hence why it's already on my wrist is the monica vinader bangle this is made out of 18 karat gold for may and all of their gold and silver is 100 percent recycled which is amazing and their diamonds are also ethically sourced but let me show you a close-up like how stunning is this piece it would make the most gorgeous gift they also have this in just plain gold if you're not into the diamonds but i just think it looks so luxury and premium and oh, i'm just obsessed and as you guys know i like to really layer and stack my jewelry so i've just layered it with a another monica vinader bangle here and i think it looks great and then i also picked up these two rings and i love my rings i always change them up nowadays and i just feel like monica vinader rings are so unique like i haven't like they've got like their signature one here that matches the bracelets this kind of rectangular effect that i just love and then i also picked up this one which is like this kind of diamond um band and yeah they're just really unique looking i really love them now for the pieces that i waited to unbox on camera with you guys i have to say i think their packaging is to die for it just feels so luxe i think this is another bracelet yes it is i picked up this chunky gold chain bracelet now i've got some similar ones like this but i wanted one that was really chunky and a little bit more of a statement without being kind of too crazy um and i thought this one was perfect yes that's exactly what i wanted actually it's the perfect level of chunk. Am I going to get this on by myself? No. Sorry, it's going to be a pain. Is that what you put it on the other no. one? I think this one looks better on the other wrist. Otherwise, it's a bit too bit too much going on. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. So nice. And I also picked up some gold hoops because gold hoops are an essential in your jewellery. Jewellery box? Yeah, jewellery box. Um, and weirdly, I actually don't have any like big ones. Well, these aren't big, but like kind of medium ones like this. And if you get a good pair of gold hoops, these are going to last you a very, very long time. So it's definitely worth investing in. Put it in. Oh, super nice. I mean, they're simple, but simple but effective um, it's also worth noting as well that monica vinader have a repair and rewear scheme where you can take in any jewelry and they will fix it for you if need be but obviously it's very good quality so hopefully that wouldn't need to happen okay shall we go on to some clothes as always i'm going to start off with what i'm wearing and this is an outfit if you follow me on tiktok and instagram you've probably seen quite a bit because i just love it um so this knit as you can see it's, it's very big um what i love about it is the big sleeves it's from arquette and i think this is an alpaca wool it is so warm guys it really keeps you cozy it's a little bit scratchy if you were to wear it on bare skin i think but like these kind of things they soften over time and yeah i just love i love how big the sleeves are i wear this in a size large um just because i wanted to be like really snug and oversized and i've just styled this with a white shirt underneath i think layering in autumn is just the best thing ever um it gives it that slightly preppy look which i love and then i've styled it with some skinny jeans i've spoken about these skinny jeans before they're a very old pair i think they're from i saw it first last time i checked they were only seven pounds and i am really trying to like move away from those kind of brands like i don't shop at um plt anymore and um i saw it first 
but I have to say these are my favorite jeans they fit like a dream and I kind of alternate between these and leggings but they're kind of different because these are more like a coated jean and then I've also started up with my new look leather boots which I love so much they're kind of a good dupe for Dr. Martens and yeah I am just in love with this knit it also comes in other colors I believe um and you know what this is actually a really good dupe for the tote me like um them really big jumper obviously it's a bit less shaggy but it does the job by the way apologies guys for the massive light changes the weather can't decide what it's doing so next up is a real easy basic this one again is from arquette I wear it in a size extra small and this was £45. It feels like a really nice material and it also looks expensive. I think sometimes with sweats, it's easy for them to look quite cheap. Whereas this one, you can tell it's nicely made. I just really like wearing these like when I'm running errands. Just pop on a pair of leggings, some trainers and it's a good way of like, looking chic and put together while still kind of feeling comfortable and casual. The leggings that I've paired with this are from Spanx. The best quality leggings, I absolutely love them. Like they feel like a proper legging you can wear out and about. And then the trainers I've paired with this outfit are my Axel Arigato trainers. These are so comfortable, great everyday shoes. They're also leather, so they're wipe clean. They're just brilliant. This next piece is another Arquette number. And I want your opinion on this one because I'm not 100% sure. Um, I feel like I could even love it and wear it all the time or just not wear it at all. So I'm on the fence, so I'd love to know your thoughts. But having said that, I do think it's gorgeous. Like it's this really nice brownie tweed, so autumnal. I know I say that word far too many times, but it's true. Um, I love like the big over exaggerated collar, like so big. Um, it's got like a nice sleeve detail as well with this button. Nice deep pockets. Can't get my hand in this one. There we go. Um, and yeah, this is the kind of thing you can dress up and down. I've just dressed it down with the same outfit I was wearing before with the little. Um, jumper and leggings but then i've just added a pair of my new look knee-high boots and this is quite like a country like walking in the countryside kind of outfit but equally you could dress this up if you wear it with like maybe some leather trousers um a tight bodysuit maybe some like nice pointed toe boots yeah there's lots of different ways you can style this basically you can even wear it with like a skirt or something also again you can really feel and tell the quality on this one it just looks very expensive and it feels expensive as well i absolutely love this next blazer it's one of my favorite purchases this season this is a little mango number i wear this in a size small and it always sells out so if you want it be quick last time i checked it wasn't stock though but yeah i absolutely love it i love the fit of it it's like a really nice kind of tailored feminine but still boxy kind of fit which is a little bit different to a lot of my other blazers which are more on the boxy side mango blazers are quite hit and miss because sometimes i go for a small sometimes i go for a large but this fits like a glove um, i'm gonna come up close to be able to see the pattern a bit better so it's like a kind of checkered tweed of like textured material it feels like such nice quality button detailing um, yeah, I just love it. And I paired this with this Naked Basic. I love these basics from Naked. Then this skirt, which is from Mango, which is another one of my wardrobe faves. I wear this so often, especially in autumn winter because it has got that like tweedy texture to it, which makes it a bit more suited to that season. Um, and Grace was saying the other day how with places like Mango and Zara, they always restock, which is amazing. But then things like H&M, don't get me wrong, I obviously love H&M, but once something is out, it's out, apart from like their core, core items. Um, and what I love about Mango is they do bring things back. And then finally, I've just paired it with my Stradivarius boots, which I adore. I really alternate between these and the New Look ones. They're kind of the same, but opposite. The New Look ones are flat, a bit more chunky, they've got a round toe, whereas these ones have heels and they're a pointed toe, so they definitely feel a bit more glam. But yeah, this is an outfit that I have repeated a few times so far because I love it so much. Okay, now onto some Zara. Um, this next coat, so visually, I love it. I think it looks so chic. It's really soft touch as well. I love the way it hangs. I like the contrasting black buttons. Um, and overall, it's just a very like nicely shaped coat. I don't think I'm gonna keep this though because as much as I love it, it just feels like it's gonna be a dirt magnet because of the fabric. It's quite like a felty fabric, which even though it's soft, it feels kind of cheap. And yeah, I can just see this getting so dirty so quickly and then just looking even, just not looking nice basically. So yeah, I'm sad about this one, but it's gonna have to be a return. But of course, let me know what you guys think. Or if any of you have this, does it attract dirt? Or am I just being, I don't know, am I just over analyzing? But let me know. 
Um, and then the outfit I've paired underneath this is the exact same one as before. I actually just think it looks really nice. And this kind of um, skirt, top, boots combo is just an easy one. And also it kind of looks like a dress sometimes, which I like. So I got this in a size small, which is perfect. And this was 80 pounds. Now guys, this next purchase was a complete fail. And let me show you why. Saw these boots online. I thought these are a really gorgeous pair of brown boots. However, put them on and they go past my knees. I literally look like I'm in some kind of like cast, like I've broken my legs or something. Like, and they're also massive. This is my normal size. They are absolutely huge. Like I can't really walk in them. Like what on earth, Zara? I mean, maybe they're just made for tall. No, these are not a size four. Maybe they're made for like tall people or something, but this is literally falling off my leg. I mean, sometimes I'm a three, but even so, this is just weird. But also like really squeaky as well. So yeah, I would not recommend. Another item from Mango that has come back in stock, which I'm so happy about because I love this cardigan. It's so cozy and soft. It's not scratchy on the skin at all. And yeah, as well, I just love the color. I think it's um, very perfect for the season. I'm pretty sure I wear this in a size small, but I'll double check and if it's wrong, then I'll tell you guys down below. But yeah, I've obviously paired it with the Mango mini skirt again. And let me just take these off my feet. And these really cute little booties, again, from Mango, which I believe are still in stock too. And don't they just match so perfectly to this knit? We've got like this nice kind of wood, wood effect um, heel, zip up the back, and they are a suede as well. Just make sure you spray them with like crep protect or like a kind of suede protector. And yeah, these are actually so comfortable as well. Like they're a really nice heel height. Another way I recently wore this was with, I think it was plain black mum jeans. Um, and loafers as well and then you can just like drape over like a blazer or a long black coat I also think this would actually look really lovely with some cream tailored trousers as well Oh, yeah, that's a good outfit idea actually. I'm gonna use that now Let's move on to and other stories and I have to say I'm a bit worried about these two I don't know if they're gonna look good on I really wanted to like this next one, but I just don't think I do what drew me to it originally is the sleeves I love this like big exaggerated cuff. It feels really cozy and I thought it was quite nice and cropped Like as you can see it comes just above my trouser line, which is perfect. What I don't like about it is the neckline is too high up and it just doesn't suit the shape of my face. I think because I've got quite a wide jaw, it almost just makes it look even more wide. And yeah, I just, it, I just don't like that. And also it does feel kind of quite scratchy and it's a kind of scratchy that's like an annoying scratchy. So you definitely have to wear a top underneath this. And honestly, this is very warm. I don't know if I'd want to wear a top underneath this. So I think this is going to go back, which is a shame because I love the sleeves. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I think if this was a low neck, this would make a really cute outfit. I've just got my Topshop, maybe these are Evelyn actually. I think these are Evelyn jeans and the uh, trailers from earlier as well. Okay, this next piece I dislike for the exact same reason as the last one, which is why, which is just the neck. It's just too high. I need it to be lower. I feel like very claustrophobic. But again, if this didn't have the neck, I would like it a lot more. It does feel a little bit scratchy and it is very warm, which is a good thing, I guess. But yeah, I've just um, belted it in this little like Zara belt and tucked that over just because without a belt, it's very long. Like it goes just above my knee. Yeah, I will be returning this one. It's, this is the kind of time I wish I had a long neck because you know those girls with just really long, elegant necks? They can pull this kind of stuff off, but I just can't. The boots are a very old pair from H&M, so I don't think they're available anymore but I'll have some similar ones linked down below. And the final item I've got to show you guys is this uh, top, well, top knit kind of vibe. It's from Reese, and I actually got this for working from home because I feel like it has that like smart look to it that you could almost wear it to an office, but I don't know where I'd wear this day to day. But yeah, sometimes when I work from home, I actually just like to dress up and feel really nice in myself. I find that I'm more productive, I'm happier. So I thought this would be really nice. And honestly, it is so comfortable. I love how tight the sleeves are and they come kind of halfway down your hands, which is always um, a favorite thing of mine. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, honestly, the quality feels insane. It's a nice thick rib 
got the cute little black buttons and I've just paired this with some Arquette tailored trousers and my Hermes belt and my black Gucci loafers and I think all together this makes a really nice smart but comfortable look and do you know what if they have other colours in this I think I would be tempted to buy and clothes like this are my favourite clothes that make you feel a certain way even if it's just for me working at home so that brings us to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you picked up any pieces because i'm always very curious to see like your favorite bits um if there was anything that you didn't like so much let me know so we can have a chat down below in the comments um i'm also going to announce the giveaway from last week's video in the comments as well and yeah i love you all so 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 much have a lovely rest of your week and i'll see you next time